I see you're circumcised. But wait, you're not Jewish or Muslim, so that's kind of strange, don't you think? What? No, it's normal. What? Actually, it's not. Hi, I'm Adam Conover. I remember you. Hey, Adam. And apart from those two religions and a few African tribes, America is actually one of the only cultures that practices circumcision. Yet, most of us don't even know why we do it. Would you like to? Not right now, man. Oh, just get it over with. To learn more, let's go back in time to the day you were circumcised. God, no. By the time your tip got snipped, circumcision had been a tradition for generations. Would you like to circumcise Brian? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, his should look like mine, right? Okie doke. No! But the source of that tradition is real weird. His should look like mine, right? His should look like mine, right? Yep, better cut him. I reckon it'll stop him from masturbating. What? Yep. Though religious circumcision's been practiced in the Middle East for millennia, no one did it in the West until the sex-phobic days of the late 19th century, when puritanical doctors promoted it as a way to stop your kids from committing their favorite sin. Observe the vile masturbator, the sallow complexion, the rotten teeth, and the open sores. Actually, I think I have syphilis. Syphilis caused by masturbation. One prominent advocate of dick docking was and I'm not making this up, John Harvey Kellogg, the inventor of cornflakes. My cure is twofold. A diet rich in flaked corn. Mm. And cutting off part of the penis. Mm. Victorian ah. prudes like Kellogg just straight up hated sex and thought that by pruning your Peter, they could make it less pleasurable, taming your base, lustful instincts. And uh, you don't even want to know what they thought you should do to women. Just apply a little carbolic acid to the clitoris. Yikes. Thank God that one didn't catch on. All right, everyone, let's take a five. This is stupid. Being circumcised doesn't stop me from masturbating. Yeah, I know. That's why it's so weird we still do it. But isn't it cleaner or something? No. Maybe in biblical times it helped prevent infection, but nowadays you can just wash your dingus. Circumcision has been found to somewhat reduce the risk of HIV transmission, but so do condoms, and they don't require you to uh, chop your dick off. OK, but foreskins are useless. Actually, Brian, the foreskin plays an important role in sex. It's a natural lubricant, contains millions of nerve endings, and it protects the glands from being desensitized. Thanks, Bert. Got it, bud. But if you're uncircumcised, girls will think your dick looks weird. Oh, it's an interesting theory. Let's test it. Does this dick look weird? Yep. All right, does uh, this dick look weird? Yep. And does this dick look weird? Yeah. All dicks look weird. Thanks, man. Look, if you like being circumcised, fine. There's no harm in it, but there's also no benefit to it. And the only reason you're circumcised is because the 19th century prude who invented cornflakes was trying to ruin your sex life. Oh, well, that didn't take long. Pick up where we left off. I'm not really in the mood anymore. <laughs> Sounds like you won. Join me next time on Adam Ruins Everything, when I'll be talking about how what you think are your cherished childhood memories are just fictional simulations created by your brain. Get out. Please get out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please get out. If you like that video, click me to subscribe. Get out, get out. You know what, why don't you just do it? Yeah, mess him up. Hit me. That'll get play... me to stop. I know, I know. He can't do it. I've never played baseball before. Click on him, he might do it. Nah, he won't.